this sucks. And I'm going to be like this probably for the next, uh, probably 35, 40 miles. Actually, probably 50 miles. I'm almost, I just passed Beaumont. And from Beaumont all the way to Houston, it's supposed to be like this. So it's going to be nasty. I'll flip the camera around again and show you. That's interstate, guys. It's all water. <laughs> Go to the back, sweetheart. You're okay. Go to the back. I'm gonna come up there to you. One of y'all stand up front, please. Show her where that ladder is, buddy. Yeah. I'm gonna let your bone fall out. parking lot of where I'm staying. There's my bass boat in the parking lot. And there's the front door. What you see on TV is what you see on TV. But what I saw on TV is not what I saw here. There's people getting shot at in boats. Rescuers getting shot at. People getting shot at on jet skis. People looting. I mean, it's like an episode of Gangland out here. It is nuts. I chose not to go Cajun Navy just simply because I ain't got to ask because they had limited resources here at Houston PD. And uh, they said they needed help, and that's why I went with them. But I also knew that when I went there that I would have plenty of plenty of cover. So, I mean, they, they were even talking about last night, you know, we're easing along these streets, and then my depth finder, I'm sitting there reading my depth finder, and it's reading 16, 17 foot of water, and they still got looters. They still got freaking looters in 16 to 17 foot of water. I mean, this is re absolutely ridiculous. And then one of the deputies looks at me and he says, hey man, can you swim? <laughs> I said, yeah, why? He said, because if we get shot at, we just go, go start spraying the bullets and you need to swim and get out of here. I said, the hell with that, I'm in 16 foot of water, I'm going to jump on the gas, y'all can just sit down and we're going to get out of here. I mean, that's, that's the seriousness of this situation. But it's this whole experience, I tell you guys, this whole experience has been really good for me. Uh, because of seeing all this mess, I mean, see people act like just animals. It's, it's, it's stupid. I mean, somebody got shot last night or early this morning, somebody got shot on a jet ski. Ah, was helping out. They shot him. I mean, it's like, dang, gone. Here we are at dark, sitting out in the middle of a street. It, I, we had, I think, at that time we had five or six people on the boat, and the boat was bottomed out. But we had to sit there in the middle of that street, and all you hear is pow, 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 the whole time. The whole freaking time. I mean, it is, uh, it is sketchy. And then you got five strangers or six strangers on the boat that you don't know, and they won't pull their hands out of their pockets. And it's like, man, how do you trust anybody? And that is what's so sad about this whole situation. You want to help so bad, but in the form of helping, you can get killed. Sergeant Gannon with the Houston PD. The guy is one amazing, amazing man. And the, he, he deserves a lot of credit. He deserves a lot of credit for what he's done. Uh, with all the guys in the same room, we're sleeping on the floor, on concrete floors, guys. I mean, you have no freaking idea what we're going through here. Through all the intensity, at the end of the day, it's nice. It's nice to uh, be here. It's an honor to work next to these guys. Sergeant Gannon, Houston Police Department, guys. Y'all share his name and applaud him for what he's doing. He's taking, he's taking a lot on. And I hope everybody uh, sets up a prayer chain for Sergeant Gannon and thanks him for what he's doing. Uh, I think it's Ray is his first name, but Sergeant Gannon, Houston PD, guys, in every status you post today, just hashtag Sergeant Gannon, Houston PD, and thank him. I mean, you don't realize what this man is doing out here. Come on, girl. Good girl. Good girl.
lot of people today. We got a lot of people out. Uh, oh, I mean, golly, it started off this morning crazy, isn't it? We are about a quarter mile from the police station, and we take a left, and we get up to next to this gas truck and to launch the boat. When we get next to the semi, he rolls down his window and he says, Guys, somebody tried to steal the gas out of this semi. They sprayed my semi with bullets. I shot back. Da 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 and goes on and on and on. What? I mean, they're... They, oh, my God. So, anyways, then we go and... We save some dogs and we save some people and the other one's Callaway. He's been with me all day. He's an awesome young man, guys. This young man's 28 years old. Here, one of us will go. We got boots. We don't want you to take your foot on something down there. Hold on, bro. Hey, come here. Come here, Bob. My job here, guys, is done. Um, my boat is right behind me in the parking lot. It is totaled. Uh, well, it looks like we hit a, I don't know if we hit a culvert. I don't know what we hit, but we were trying to evacuate. Hit a culvert. My whole boat is uh, demolished. It's sunk. And it is officially sitting on asphalt. I'll take you over there, I'll show you guys. Everything in it is fried. All my electronics are fried. Uh, boat is destroyed. There's my boat. Yeah, boats don't drive good on asphalt, I can tell you that. But yeah, it's got about a two foot hole in the bottom of it. I hit a culvert. So, uh, lower unit, shot, everything in it. Yeah, right there is the, all the oil coming out of it. So, uh, yeah, trolling motor's destroyed.